President Biden signed an executive order on artificial intelligence yesterday that will attempt to put in place new checks and balances on the emerging technology. The order requires AI companies to share safety test results with the federal government that includes risks that their systems could aid adversaries in hurting the U.S. Joining us now, ground, groundbreaking MIT researcher Dr. Joy Bolamwini. She is the founder of the Algorithmic Justice League, which addresses concerns about facial recognition and biometrics used in policing, education, and healthcare. Her new book is entitled Unmasking AI, my mission to protect what is human in a world of machines, what is what humanity is left, really. Thank you for joining us. Um, talk about the unintended consequences of AI that you are addressing in this book. Absolutely. So think of an ism and it's happening with AI. So for thinking sexism, racism, ageism and so forth. So whether you're thinking about hiring and you have AI tools that systematically take out the resumes if it has a woman's college listed on it, yet you might get a boost if your name is Jared or you played right. lacrosse. Think about uh, in healthcare where people's uh, insurance is actually getting cut off short. And so they don't get all of the medical treatment they need and it ends up being higher cost later on. So we're seeing ageism in that type of an example. You also have schools adopting systems meant to catch cheating and so forth, right? And in those situations, we're seeing that black and brown students are more likely to be flagged as mm -hmm. cheating or people with English as a second language, mm -hmm. even when they're not. Mike. So this is, I mean, extraordinarily oh. interesting and worrisome. So how can the same technology, can the same technology be used to avoid this, to try to make it a more I level, know. equitable playing field? I think it's really important that we don't just look at technical systems, but socio-technical systems. And that's why the executive order is so important. So trying to fight AI with AI isn't what we want to be doing. It's bringing in those red teaming teams. It's having safety teams in place. At AJL, we actually have a new type of role, which is an AI harms analyst. So people can actually send in their reports of what's going on, sometimes before companies even know that there's a problem. So I definitely think we don't want to look at it as a purely tech against tech hmm. situation. First of all, I'm afraid to ask you a question. I'm here. <laughs> She's the founder, amazing. The founder of the algorithmic algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> right. Just, You're right. Just play the game. can't even say it. He's so intimidating. I'm, I'm, I'm shaking before I ask you this question. But the question is, why are so many people afraid of AI? I think part of it is being caught in between fear and fascination. And so is AI going to replace me? And with the capabilities of generative AI systems, it's not just can I write the essay for the kid in school? Could right. I write the newscast? Right. And you have deep fakes, right? Right. You saw Tom Hanks. This seems like technology gone wild. I don't know how you could put controls or boundaries on it. Well, that's what the executive order attempts to do in a very comprehensive way. Do you think and it will? I think it's up to the implementation. So I certainly think it's a good starting ground. I also think what's happening across the pond in the UK uh, this week, right, with the AI Safety Summit is going to look at what global governance of AI looks like. Wow. Dr. Right. Bolamani, the, the fear that AI could be used around the elections, mm -hmm. misinformation mm -hmm. has been raised. Is that unfounded? Uh, uh, and, and if it is not, how do we uh, make sure that we are not seeing misinformation used because of AI? That fear is absolutely grounded. We've already seen, for example, deep fakes of heads of state saying things that they never said. And we also know it, how it, it happened in Slovakia and in swung the election in Slovakia. So this is a real concern. And you also have synthetic media and with AI systems that allow people to create media that you're not sure is real or fake, it creates a bit of a liar's dividend because now we're questioning everything we see, yes. even if it's true. We need to have you back. The new book is mm -hmm. entitled Unmasking AI, My Mission to Protect What is Human in a World of Machines. It's on sale today. Dr. Joy Bolamwini, thank you so much. It's great thank to have you. you on. Great to meet Good you. Thank you for having me on the book. And that does it for us this morning. What